The Well. Wisdom and insight for worship leaders and music teams all around the world. For details, email thewell at planetshakers.com. everyone and welcome to another episode of The Well. Yet welcome! Yet again. Hey. Here we are. And uh, are. another instalment of the demo series. It is the demo oh. series. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying so it. Good. Mm. Have you guys been learning lots from it? I've learned a lot from it. Do you think you could do a demo now, Pastor Sam? No. No? I still need to know how to program keyboards. Hey. Well, it's funny you say that, mm. actually, mm. because today we're going to talk about it. Mm. Really? We're going to show you how to do it. Now, right. what does programming keyboards mean? What does it mean? It means we get a keyboard and we program it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> rabbit. Sort of. We, it, we programming press keys, record. We do. <laughs> and we record ourselves. Programming keys covers, like, basically anything that we want to play in, in terms of keyboards. So, like, strings, pads, um, synths, mm. piano sounds. Yeah. How do they get all those things in those little keys? I just want to know that. They pray about it until they see breakthrough. In that area. <laughs> but um, so we're going to get to that later, which will be mm. great. But before we okay. do, how do we talk about last weekend? Yeah. Let's. Where was I? I was at Melbourne. You were at Melbourne. I was at Melbourne. As usual. Mm. And the Nick, day was at NEC, NEC mm-hmm. as usual. Yep. Which you had the big boss out there. Had the big boss out there. It was, it was fun. The big boss being Pastor Russell Evans. Yes. yes. Founder of Planet Shakers, along with Pastor Sam Evans. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um. They're together, actually. <laughs> they're married. They're together. Yeah. They're no, married. we just have the same last name. Evans. It's funny Jokes. because you obviously your name is obviously Samantha, but people yes. when they see Sam Evans like in a document and they don't know who you are, they think you're a guy. Yes. <laughs> do you think? <laughs> yeah. Like on tour, Some they people might. People do. If we go to a church that doesn't really know yeah. who Bunchakers are, they sometimes think it's a guy, and then they're surprised to meet her. Oh. But Interesting conversation. You're married. Anyways. Um, <gasps> What were we saying? Well, I don't know what you said. We were saying about we, the last weekend. We did a new song. It was amazing. We did a new pray song. Yeah. We and did. How did it go? I didn't hear it at all. The song is called Through It All. Yeah. Did you, did you praise I've, him through it I've, all? I've, I've, I've praised him through it all, but I didn't see what praise through it all went like. Ah. It went great. In the congregation. Should we, should we play them a little bit of it now? Play it, let's Just do it. a little snippet. Because there's a section I like to dance to. Which bit's that? Dung, 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 dung. <laughs> we'll, we'll play them. Let's just play them a little bit. Here we go. We'll have a look. This is why I praise you. I praise you. I lift you high. And I praise you. Yeah, I praise you. Anyways, that's enough. <laughs> we, we don't want to give them too much, even though BJ's still dancing to it. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. It was great. It was fun. Excellent. Great. And new songs are always challenging to introduce because a lot of people can just stand there and go, what is this? But Planet Shakers is such an amazing church that they just dive in. They do. They're good. We are so blessed. They don't care what it looks like. They're diving in. Nothing will stop their passion. They're praising him. Hang on. Let's write a song about that, shall we? (laughs) But it was great. It was a great um, weekend. Yep. As usual, God is so faithful. Yep. Every time we praise Him, every time we worship Him, His presence is there. And Amen. we hope you had the same experience in your church over the weekend. Yeah. On the well. I've got a heart. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I do. That's good. Every week on the well, I've we got a like to share... From the heart. What? You don't need to complete the sentence. I did. I've got a heart. He's going to tell you what's and in it. And he's sharing. Hang on. What's what you got? I've got a heart. He's going to tell you what's in it. i got lots in it. But today I'm going to read a scripture from <laughs> Philippians chapter 2. <laughs> and really, I'm not going to elaborate that. much more because the scripture basically tells you exactly sure. what's up. It says, don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Mm-mm. So many people spend their lives trying to impress others. It's true. Actually, people spend their whole lives doing that. That's true. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. I just think this is perfect for a music team, really for a worship great. team, all yeah. these, these instructions here. Don't look only out for your own interests, but take interests in others too. Yes. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus has. So and good. it goes on to talk about how he, he, is, he is God. Yes. Like he, he had the right to 
act like God on earth, but he didn't. Mm. He still chose to humble himself and not see himself as equal as God. That's right. So if, if, if Jesus, who is God himself, can do that, Mm-hmm. That is the perfect example, and we should be doing that too. Wonderful. So, right. just do when you know in your in your relations with all your senior pastors, everyone in your team, just do this. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress people. Don't do be it. Be humble. Think yeah. of others as better than yourselves. There's some people you might be going, "Why aren't I on the roster there?" Or "I'm only on once. Why are they going three times?" Mm-hmm. Well, that that is goes along with the thinking of that you think you're actually better than them. So don't do that. Yeah. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others to have the same attitude as. Christ Jesus. Yes. I think what a great encouragement to us as music team. Very Amazing. good encouragement. Yeah. But then also at the end there, it talks about God lifting up Jesus and giving him a name that is above every name. That's right. So when you do humble yourself and you have that attitude, God opens the doors. That's right. God promotes. Mm. God will give opportunities. So don't worry. It's going to work out. Mm. Amen. Be blessed. Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of the demo series. Today, as you have heard already, we're talking about programming keys. And so uh, if you've been watching the previous episodes, you know we've already got one keys track in here. It's the piano track. And I did that as a guide, but whenever I'm doing a proper demo or even in the album, I'll always redo that because the guide is, well, when I play the guide piano in, I'm just doing it by myself. But now I want to do a, another track of the piano, uh, playing it in mind of all the other instruments I've already done. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So we can use the same, uh, the same track we've already used. Now, something you might not know, in Pro Tools, there's these things called playlists. And th- these things are, are great because it enables me to keep what I've already done here. This is the piano track we're looking at. But I can keep that and just record a new one over the top. So next to your track name here, we've got this little arrow. See this playlist selector. So if you click on that, you can either choose to create a new playlist or a duplicate playlist. We're going to create a new one, and it gives you the option to name it. So we'll call this piano number two. Now, see how it just got rid of that one? So it's basically creating a fresh space for me to record. But you can go back to it, which is cool. So if you click on that same little arrow, you'll see here, piano one, piano two. So if I click on that, it goes back to that one and back to the new one. So that's a really cool feature too, because if I'm wanting to record multiple takes and choose different parts from different takes, to make one really nice edit of something, uh, you can do that and go back and forth between um, that. So we've got our piano plug-in here, which you've seen on the previous episodes, which is MIDI Grand. MIDI Grand, sorry. So we'll just let's have a listen to that. Let's turn that up a bit. So it's a pretty nice sounding piano for like a, one of the free plugins that comes with Pro Tools. Now I'll show you, so you can use that. I'll show you another plugin that I use for piano. Uh, it's by Native Instruments. So you have to open this plugin called Contact. And these are all instruments here down on the left-hand side you can see. Uh, and they're all different pianos. Like for instance, if we want to use an upright piano. But we don't want an upright piano for this song. Just showing you what it sounds like. Um, there's this awesome plugin called Alicia's Keys, which you, you may have heard of her. She's an artist. Uh, she's endorsed by Yamaha. She's Yamaha built her her own piano, and they've sampled her piano. This is what it sounds like. So that's a really nice piano. I, I've been using that for a lot of stuff. But they just come out with this other piano uh, called, where is it here? The Grandeur. And this is a really nice concert sounding piano. So I've been using this on the last few recordings. And the cool thing is we can add some more space to it, which is basically like reverb. Yeah, that sounds like it's more in a hall. Distance. We can also change the dynamic, whether we want it to be a nice soft, nice mellow, or you can make it harder. Which if you're trying to, if you're creating a more energized kind of sound, uh, using that hard attack of the piano works well. So anyways, we'll just, we'll have it on, on normal for now. 
and uh, we'll record our piano track and see how we go. So we'll just have a quick listen to what we've done previously. Now when I'm recording piano, it's quite simple. I, I really try to lock in with the drums. My left hand follows the kick drum, my right hand follows the snare, generally. Not exactly, but generally. Uh, and, and that's the rhythm that I type, uh, tend to use to try and lock in. So let's give us one bar count and then we'll, we'll roll. Turn the click on. By the way, number pad seven turns the click on and off. So you don't have to go and find the channel and mute it and unmute it. That turns it on and off, which is a handy little trick. Two, three, four. Now you might have watched that and thought I was a bit boring and I just played it quite simple. My hand has stayed in the same spot a lot of the time, but that is what helps create space and, and it makes a good track. I'll give you an example. I'll do another take of it and I'll be really busy and I'll show you that that just always, it isn't always the best thing to do. Two, three, four. So, I mean, that's just ridiculous. No, nobody has time for that kind of gear. But a lot of churches, a lot of piano players are doing that stuff. And so uh, you just got to tell yourself, simple is always better when you're working within a band. Quality is better than quantity of notes. So that's why we play it simple. So we're going to go back to our playlist. Now, another cool feature, which I've explained before when I did the drums, is because we're using MIDI notes, which if for those who don't know what MIDI note is, it's sort of like a, a digital note. Um, that is basically just sending a digital signal to the sound plugin. So all of these notes are just, they're not actually audio notes, they're basically digital notes. So you can move them around, you can change the notes. Uh, if you click the minus sign, it opens up that page there and you can, you can move it around. So if you do a bung note, uh, you can move it around. So another thing that is cool about mini notes is that you can quantize it. So if you click all that and press option number pad zero, Brings up your quantize uh, window. Another way you can get there is go up to event, event operations, quantize. That brings up the same window there. So usually the default is one sixteenth note, and that's the best one to use. You can change your quantize strength uh, down here, like if you don't want it to really lock in too strong. But for the sake of this exercise, we'll keep it at 100%. So what you choose is select your bit of MIDI track that you want to quantize, then hit apply. Now I'll zoom in so you can actually see the notes moving. Even though I played it pretty good in time, no one will ever get it perfectly on the beat. As you can see here, these particular notes aren't perfectly on the beat, but watch when I press apply, three, two, one. So it locks it in like that. Now the danger is that it can sound a little bit robotic. So you just wanna make sure when you do quantize, it's not overdoing it. <laughs> But, you know, especially with demos, you want them to be really clean and tight and punchy so people can learn the parts well. And so I'm definitely going to leave that quantized. Um, I'll just check this. See, two, no two notes here at the start. This is where you've just got to uh, be careful because when you're playing piano, you might go like this. 
when you try to quantize that, it doesn't know where to put some of them to the left or some to the right. So that's what it's done here. So if I undo, undo what I did, see that's what I did. I, I went like that, but when I quantize it, it puts some of them over there, some of them over there. So if, if in this situation you can get this selected all like that, except those notes, bring up your quantize window and do it again, it locks it all in, it just leaves those like that. So that's the way to get around that. Cool, so now that piano track's done, um, I, I think we should add a strings track. Uh, I think that could definitely enrich the sound here. So we're gonna open a, gonna create a new stereo audio track. I'm gonna call it Omnisphere or Omni. This is an amazing plugin. If you, if you can afford it, I'd, I would recommend that you invest into it. Uh, this is the plugin that we use for most of our uh, you know, sounds for all that prey songs, all that kind of stuff. So this is the plugin here. Now we're just going to create uh, a MIDI track. And we're going to choose the output of that to go to Omnisphere 1 channel. So when we play this MIDI track, it's, it's sending signal to this plugin on channel 1 here. So you've got eight channels in Omnisphere. So that's the default sound that comes up. So we're going to go down to category called pads and strings. Let's just have a listen to some of them. It's not bad. <laughs> Haven't heard anything I would want to use yet. stuff here, but I'm kind of looking for a real string sound. So another way to search is I can type up here strings and it will bring up another, or another cool feature is you can go type. We want acoustic strings because I want like a real string sound. So what else we got? Not bad. You can hear all the different styles. Hollywood Studio Strings. This is usually a pretty good one I like to use. Now orchestral slash string stuff always sounds awesome using thirds. So one, two, three. So we're gonna play along like that. All right, here we go, ready? One, two, three. Right, so now that our string track's done, we're going to quantize that as well. So that's nicely locked in. I'm going to turn the volume down on that. Cool, so that's sounding good. Oh, I forgot to name that. Strings one. Now, I heard another idea in my head as I was doing it on this building here. Sort of string build up thing there. So I'm just going to create another MIDI track here. I'm going to call it strings two. 
And we're gonna, the output of that we're going to send to Omnisphere 2. So then when we open up Omnisphere, we click on number 2. This brings up a new set of tracks for us, basically. Now let's have a listen. So I need quite a fast attack kind of string for this part. And that's called fast legato string, so that could be good. Um, and yeah, I don't know what exactly notes I want to hear, but I'm going to use notes from the E major scale. So that was okay, but not exactly what I'm hearing in my head. So we'll try something different. Something like that. I'll record that. So sometimes I'll do that, I'll just do a, a string like chord pad kind of track and then I'll go in later and just do some counter notes uh, which sound nice. So let's uh, quantize that. Let's have a listen to what we just did. I'm going to turn it down a little bit in volume. So really, it will get everything in there and it's, it's sounding good. It needs a little bit of mixing and EQing here and there. But the next step is probably doing vocals and um, you can hear that it's coming together. It's sounding really full now. So stay tuned for next week and we'll move on to the next step. This week on The Well, we have questions to answer. Okay. We would love to answer those questions. And if they want to ask a question, they can do so. Right? Please do that. Write <laughs> your question in to The Well at Flamishake. That's right. First question is from Christian. Christian. He was a Christian. He's a Christian. Hi, Planet Shakers. Hi. I was at the conference in Manila. Yay. Great. It was fun, right? We had a great time. I just have a simple question regarding a line yeah. from your songs. <laughs> yes, ask away. I noticed that you used the line, "Holy, come Holy Spirit or yes. Spirit fall. Yes. Or about inviting Holy Spirit to come upon you. Yes. What do you mean by that? Do you believe that the Spirit leaves you? that you need to invite him in again. Oh. No. 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 He never leaves Because the Bible you. says he never does, yeah. That's right. No, that's right. Mm. But we, we're asking for a greater awareness of his presence, but yeah. also there are moments in our lives where we need the unction of the Holy Spirit, that spontaneous empowerment of the Holy Spirit Holy for a particular Lord. job, uh -huh. for, a, for a miracle, for healing, for breakthrough. And so we're asking Holy Spirit, come upon us so we can do those great things for God. So That's right. Yeah, of course Holy Spirit never leaves us. He said he's going to stay with us even to the end of the age. So. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Next question is from Benjamin from America. Benny. I have two questions. <laughs> Benny. What is the name of the song that has the lyrics, you speak to the darkness and in comes the light, you bring the breakthrough into my life? Oh. Do you know? I do. What is Just it? Tell me. us, please. Well, it's a song we wrote on our uh, songwriting retreat, which we did a few times in church, but the tempo is not great. Um, it's, the song's great. But the tempo for our sort of style of where we want to take praise isn't well, for corporate praise. Isn't conducive. It's too fast to jump to, um, <laughs> and so and it becomes quite comical when we do watch people jump jumping to it. Look like they're on pogo sticks, <laughs> which is funny. And so it's or a great, different different pogo sticks going at different times. Huh. It is a great song, and I think it does. People still praise to it, no doubt. But yeah. if, for me, as a praise song leader, I don't particularly want to do it in my in the praise set because it doesn't necessarily build where we're trying to go. Mm -hmm. So, What's the name of it? The name of it is oh, something undefeated. Undefeated. <laughs> undefeated. That's what it's called. It's undefeated. Yeah, it's undefeated. Undefeated. Oh, there is a second part to this question. Yes. Uh, 
Would you consider it a praise song or a worship song? Probably. Oh, I'd still consider it a praise song. Yes. But really, praise and worship, that's all, it's all, the, it's same. all the same, really. It's we, really we, fast songs and slow songs. Exactly. <laughs> Q, another question here uh, from Carlos. And I'm attending the UK local church, Jesus Living Water. Okay. Right. That's the name of the church. Great. My, my question is, how do you record the whole church service from the band and from the praise and worship, in brackets, band, to the teaching portion through your mixer? Thank how you. How do we do that? BJ knows the answer. Look, I've written a book on it, actually. It's quite extensive. <laughs> Have you? What's it called? But I'm sure Joss would prefer below. to share. Oh, okay. Sure. There you go. I mean, you can if you want it. Yeah. That's fine. You got it. Well... <laughs> You've well, got to let these guys have a go to answer some things. <laughs> That's right, because we've got to think of them as better gotta, than ourselves. Well, we've got to, yeah, and there's raising people up and stuff. So. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for releasing me to answer it. Um, if, you, if we want to record it and multi-track every track individually, we do it in this studio computer behind me here. Mm. Um, but otherwise, we just run everything through front of house and then a a stereo output goes to the video room where it gets recorded and that's what you see live on uh on the internet or when you're watching YouTube and stuff like that. Mm. That's basically it. Next, I knew that for did you? sure. Oh, yeah. Next question Good is answer, from man. Cecil. Cecil. Funny enough, our church is Cecil. on Cecil Street. It, it is. is. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Cash me outside. How about that? Uh, Pastor Joth Sam BJ, this is Cecil from the Rock Eternal Church. Hi. In Chennai, yeah. India. Cool. This is the second time writing in. Overflow is just amazing. I really feel the overflow... Throughout the album, Wonder, right. wonderful compositions yet again. Say a big hi to Josh Ham for me. Hi Josh, we will. he's in that studio yeah. over there. Hi, hi Josh. Hamlet. Okay, question number one. I work full time in my church and I'm working as a video editor, designer, and taking Great. care of creative stuff that happens. I just want to know what video editing software do you guys use? I find your videos amazing, and who does it in your team? That's nice. You guys can answer that. Yeah, sure. We use uh, Adobe Premiere for all our editing, and uh, who does it? Michael Pilmer does a lot of that. Yep. Yeah. And John, we used to have a program called... Just does it called, from time to time too. I dabble. You, you dabble. <laughs> dabble. Yeah. We also use a program called After Effects. That's what you see all those cool overlays and, and, and oh, cool yes, effects, effects in uh, in conjunction with Premiere. Next yeah, question is... I we, that too. We have got a few of our originals uh, in the dance style of your music and when we oh, play it as funny. a band, it sounds void at times. Hmm. So it would be helpful if Pastor Joth can explain how to create Ooh. loops or effects tracks. We recently bought Omnisphere. It would be good. do a world of good for Bye. us if you could teach us. Well, today's yes. episode is kind of about that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Like I mean, watching. this whole demo series will hopefully inspire you and you know give you some ideas on how to create tracks. Yes, because that's basically what what we're doing. Um, mm. uh, anything that's else fun. to say about that? No, no, that's no, it. <laughs> we'll write your questions into the well at Please do. Want to yes, hear from you? Please. What's your advice, Paige? <laughs> Do things well. <laughs> yeah. All day. <laughs> Amazing. We just really love to leave with this powerful kind of advice. Just bring a book, actually. <laughs> <laughs> with more of this kind of advice in it. Not really. I like it. Do yeah. You, also why about not? the Pro 9. Do something well. I could tell you about. Don't touch that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Pastor Sam? You got some advice? Yeah, I got some advice too. Just do things well. Hey, <laughs> you guys are in sync. Sorry, my hands are sweaty. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is that for real? Your advice? No. Okay. Isn't it? Sure, it is. I'm sticking with do things well. That's what I said. <laughs> do things well what on the well. Do things say? well. I'm going to say the Philippines. Don't scripture. think more highly of yourself. Don't do it. Pretty much. Humble yourself. Keep it humble. Pretty much. <laughs> So we'll leave you with that today and um, see you next week. Have a powerful weekend. Go for it. <laughs>